Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video and now welcome back to climb to master the series I take my main account and attempt to climb to master I returned 64 LPT4 did a warm-up game didn't go very well um, But yeah, we've had this guy uh, We've had this guy linking a uh, Twitch chat. It's really cringy to me. Hi um, Never it doesn't matter if you stream that's great if you make YouTube videos that's great don't link it before the match. I've said this so much. It's a very, very, very basic principle. But if this is a dodge now, and this person is on the enemy team, I now know his Twitch channel. No, I won't ghost because I'm a streamer, so I understand it's really annoying. But half the people in League are probably going to start ghosting. And it's just like, why do it? Why link your channel? You're not going to gain any viewers by people who are the same rating as you. That's not how you climb, by the way. If you are like, I want to become a YouTuber and streamer, you don't do it by linking your, your channel in there. You, you just don't. Ugh, it's really weird. Uh, yeah. Oh, what am I going to play? I'm top lane. Um, hmm. <laughs> Not really sure. I don't know if I'm in the mood for something different or something that I always play. That's the weird thing. I'm in a weird mood today. Uh, but yeah, when I was Res, used to watch a lot of YouTube's old stuff. Nice. Uh, depends on team comp, I think. Like it, our comp already is like a massive wombo. That if we had like a, something beefy, a bruiser or a tank jumping into the middle of them. Um, that can ult to like a loot, like, you know, you go in the middle, a Orianna ult around you and a Lulu ult knocks people up and you're in the middle. That's crazy good. But I don't really know what champion I'm going to play. I know I'm against a Shen though, so that's something to work off. Um, <laughs> Ooh, there is a champion that I've been wanting to play again for a while. And people have actually been saying, Huz, will you play her again? Maybe I will this game. Maybe I will. Especially that if we need something to protect, that could actually be pretty good. Uh, I will. Get, so some people will already have guessed it by now. If you've been to the channel, well, with the channel, sorry for a while. Um, I used her quite a lot in the early season to get to high diamond one. She was meta, and I, I, I've always clicked with her quite well, and it worked really well for me personally. And then Riot had a nerf hammer, no pun intended, with the champion, and uh, she got nerfed to oblivion. But I, I have been seeing them making actually a little bit of a comeback. My warm-up game that I just had, there was one of these champions that wrecked and we couldn't deal with her. Uh, she did just wreck a Jax though that's, and then he started to rage so that didn't help. Oh, definitely a good pick. So, number... Well, you guys... I, I don't know why I was trying to hide it. Um, because, yeah. It'll be in the video title, I just realised. Uh, we'll go Star Guardian, because why not? So, Met Fox Drop and Huzzy and Solo Q. Feels famous, man. <laughs> it's weird when either you refer to famous as yourself or a friend, as in Fox, as famous. We're not famous. Uh, we're just known in the little band of people that know us, I guess. But anyway, yeah, Poppy's good, because we deny the Shen Taunt, the Alistair W, the Tristana W, and the Kazakh's Jump. That's pretty big. But let's get the loading screen where we break down today's game. Alright, welcome to Loaning Screen. This is your website, lolskill.net. And as you can see, my team unfortunately has a slight percentage chance not to win, but let's break it down. Uh, the enemy team have a D3 Kha'Zix, D4 Lux, D4 Trist, D3 Ali, and a D4 Shen. My team, D4 Poppy is myself, D4 Kane in the jungle, D4 uh, Lulu, Platinum 1 uh, Varus, but that is 100% a smurf, obviously looking at the win rate. Actually, not a great win rate at 50%, uh, only at Plat 1, but we'll move on. And a, a Diamond 3... Oriana. So without much further ado, let's get into it while we are playing Poppy Top. The internet wasn't built for gaming. Haste is. Today, your connection to a game server uses the internet's basic default routing. Chances are, your connection doesn't use the best possible path. And if your connection encounters any kind of congestion, your performance in the game takes a big hit. Literally, in video games, if you lag, you lose. But when you use Haste, your game's traffic is handled end-to-end -end on our dedicated fast lanes. Haste is software for gamers that reduces lag and improves stability. And Haste has the most advanced gaming network, with features like multiple paths for your data so there's no single point of failure. Haste gives you a competitive edge in the game every time you play. Alright, welcome to the game. Today we're playing Poppy in the top lane. Haven't played her properly in a really long time. 
Um, it's actually cool to be back on her, and especially in a game that I could deny so much mobility by the enemy team. That's hopefully going to be really good. Uh, but let's see how this goes. Um, we are against a Shen. I don't know how the specific matchup of this will go, but I'm sure Puppy will be fine. And uh, then we get to team fight stage. Then um, I should be able to deny. As long as I stand within my team, protect my team, pop W at the right time, we we deny so much. Shen taunts gone. Kazix jump. If I if again if I time it well, all that stuff is potentially out of their their comp. Uh, the, the, then the old thing is like, what do I deny? So yeah, Shen taunt is probably going to be a pretty big thing to deny. Kazix jump as well. Trisana jump if she wants to leave, I can deny that, and Alistair engage, so... Yeah. This is weird talk by the Kazix, but what he says is kind of true. Enjoy your life. And remember, League is only a game, and have fun, is what I'm expecting him to say. Those are true words, my friend. Those are true, true words. A lot of people forget about it. A lot of people treat League more as a job than even I do. Uh, again, if you're raging in League, League isn't for you, or you need to kind of sort your priorities out. It's a game. Video game. Meant to have fun. Alright. Let's give him a not bad pull, right? And then... There you go, buddy. That worked out pretty well, actually. It's interesting that she started the red not on the wraiths. Hmm. Usually Kane start the wraiths because he does them, like, instantly. Alright, Mr. Shenanigans. How you doing, bud? I enjoy you. My audience seem to enjoy you as a champion. Wham. I missed all three? Oh my god, okay, that's the rust of Poppy. I literally haven't played Poppy in ages, and the Q missed all three. <laughs> they must have survived. And then I auto-attack cancelled? Hello, what's going on? Okay. That's weird, man. Okay, in one wave, I think I missed basically all the farm. May as well use my level 2 bullying, right? I've got a uh, corrupting. He does have Doran's shield, which will give him regen, but only if I don't really fight him. And I want to fight him. Fighting round the world. If I get level 3 uh, before Kazix comes top lane, then my I can't really get ganked. Which is good. Not easily, anyway. Ta-da! Alright, we got the W, so we can deny now. Hey, we got the cannon, whoa. I uh, got the got uh, W so we can deny mobility, so a Kha'Zix jump, a Shen taunt. See you later. He is nearly Oom um, though. That will regen quite fast, so I can't think that I'm out the out the gate. Now what I'm half thinking he might do is this. I'm half thinking he might come from like a, a, a back gank. Um if he really wants to gank me, but I don't think he will. I, if, you know, a, a half-decent... Oh. Um, a half-decent Kha'Zix will know that he's not really going to get to me very easily. Really? Why would you... Did he think he had, like, a million damage or something? Like, what the hell? Why would he do that? I, I'm, by the way, I'm better off have not having taunt than he is because I can deny mobility. He can't don deny mobility. I have no idea why he would go for that flash. That's really weird. Huh. Okay. I'm going to let it push into my territory. You don't have flash. I'm going to hopefully get Kane to come top lane, which by the looks of it, he's on his way. And he doesn't have flash and I can deny his mobility. Yeah, nev never take that trade. I don't know why he did that. He was never going to kill me. He has no damage. Not in, like, a burst sense. Oh. Something's happening mid. Ugh. First blood. Yeah, I might I shouldn't have eat then. Oh, he didn't kill him. Really good W by him, by the way, because he denied all of our auto attacks and then killed me because of it. Well played to him. But uh, yeah, maybe our abilities. We probably should have done ability damage to him and then it would have been golden. But we didn't. All right, well played to the Shen. I'll, I'll give him that one. 
Again, if someone does something good, that's good. Well, people notice what he did good. Okay, just, just because some people will, won't see what he did good there. They'll be like, he just killed you. Um, he stayed on his W. So a lot of people in those situations would have kept running and running and running to get to safety at the tower. He knew he was dead. So the good thing he did, he popped his W and stayed on top of the W and didn't run for the tower. So he actually could turn and fight and get me. That was really smart play because he knew he was dead. Uh, but he got a kill out of it because he had the confidence to stay and fight. And in the end of the day, if he say he didn't kill me, well, it doesn't matter anyway because he was dead anyway. So, yeah, it, it was a really good thing that he did, to be honest. Uh, little things like that, again, they don't get noticed very often and they don't get noticed by, like, low-rating people who are new. But this is the stuff that makes you a high-rating player. A lot of people go, go, what's the difference between plat and diamond and all these ratings? The little things, a lot of the time. The little things that you don't even notice, or it's hard to notice. And if you don't notice them, then that shows you're not there yet. Um, but yeah, he bought TM out, which I think is actually a mistake. He's got that W again. Ugh, good damage, though. Yeah, he shouldn't buy TM out, in my opinion. I don't buy TM out early on most things that I play. Because you're denying yourself a lot of the time. Like, he'll get this farm well done to him. But he's automatically going to push with TM out. When he could be denying me. And uh, yeah. I don't like automatic pushing stuff. So they did die in bot lane. They did have full vision. Orianna might actually get a couple kills if she's good. And one at least. Alright, we could do some tower damage. But he's nowhere near me. Go Ori. Go Ori. Get one kill. Oh, one kill. And then he gets... Done. Okay, Shen teleport. Using ability while the W is down. Ooh. Does Kane want to try? I don't think we're going to kill him. I don't think we have enough damage. Oh! I was like, I thought I missed that, but no one did damage to the cannon! Alright, we're good. The lane's in not a bad spot. Uh, I probably would want... Oh, yeah, look at the last hit difference in bot lane right now. That's great. Uh, I probably want Kane actually not to put his attention to top lane. Like, it's, it's good. Uh, great. But in the end of the day, we're two kind of like bruisery tanky things. We're not probably going to make the difference about winning or losing this game. We're going to just protect our team. And in order for me to do good protection, I need actually something that is worth protecting. I need a Varus that is strong to protect. And he's pretty decent now, but let's get them a little bit stronger, right? Let's get them really strong. Um, let's just go back and use our teleport. It means that I don't have teleport and he still has his ultimate. But I've got many ways as a poppy to actually stop him, which is good. Uh, but let's buy that and that. And then TP. Uh, I might not complete that Sunfire, though, just to kind of point out... Um, just want to let my team know that Shen obviously is alive and I don't have control over him right now. Don't know where he is. Um, but yeah, I would probably buy Ice Bomb first. Um, I just like having the Sunfire for a bit of beefiness and that's about it. Um, but I won't probably complete it. Okay, so... Did Shen ult? Like, we, we've, we've lost Shen and they just got to kill him bot lane. So if he did not ult... To try and save someone there. I've got no idea what he's doing. There he is. What are you doing? Yeah, I don't... I don't... Did... Did... Shen... Oh, yeah. I need to know. I need to know this. In oh. <laughs> like I said, as Poppy, I've got multiple ways of stopping him. I've got my E. But from range, which a lot of Shens try to back away and then use it from range. I just throw my ultimate at him. And it's going to be around the same cooldown. So, uh, yeah, good luck. That's why I did pick Puppy, by the way, into this matchup, because it's really good like that. Oh, I didn't actually think he'll go for a taunt play, but he did. Man, hit by a tower. 
Uh, how's it going though? So he did die, but I think Tristana also died in that, right? As long as Tristana isn't gaining when Varus is also dying from the, the Lux roaming a lot of the time, perfectly fine. It's, it's okay. Whack. I want to throw the hammer at him. I can't. And doink. So we've got lane control now. And again, the cool thing is if we push it into him, there's nothing he can do. Like he can't freeze it now because he bought Tiamat. He automatically pushes it back into me. Which I think that's why it's a bad thing to do. Because like right now he could freeze it right there. Deny me two waves of minions. Instead he can't. He physically can't do that because he bought Tiamat. I don't know if we're going to get this kill, to be honest. I think it's a bit ambitious. I'm going to just push it in. And I hope Kazix comes, and then we can just kill the Kazix. I don't know. Probably didn't even need to do that, because that wasn't going to actually hit. Yeah. Kazix bot lane. So this is why I want Kane to be there. I want Kane to help bot lane, not me. Alright, he needs to tank it because he has an ultimate. He didn't press R in time. Oh my god. Uh, don't come top. You shouldn't. Help me. That was really bad. Mm. I know what happened. When I knocked him up, he couldn't ult. But I think there was time. I think if he spammed R as the moment that Shen landed, he would have got the ult off. But I'm guessing he was just a bit too slow. Oh, that was bad. But yeah, like I've been mentioning, maybe I should have typed it to this guy by now, but I would have thought he would have worked it out. He really shouldn't be prioritizing top lane. There's nothing to gain. There's no benefit. If we kill Shen, it doesn't really matter because Shen is still going to do what Shen does anyway. He's going to split push. That's it. Um, he should just be trying to get the bot lane even more ahead. Like, the bot lane's doing really well. Oh, I'm really annoyed by that. Bot lane's doing well. The farm's great, but they are dying. So they should just help with that. And just forget about top lane. Even go mid lane. Help mid lane, you know. Ugh, that was such a bad dive. I, uh, I probably should have said no. So I'm going to take responsibility for that. One, I did do the knock up. But was the knock up the bad thing? Maybe. But we just shouldn't have done the dive anyway. It was just a dumb thing to do. So, yeah. And now he's got big lane advantage when I actually had it. Oh, that's annoying. The whole lane gets turned. Okay, he did get upgraded to Darkin, which is good. That comes up like a second before me. Oh my god, the red buff. The red buff really hurts. What's that line? Oh, I think that was a bug. Where's Shen? He was trying. He was like standing still, looking for an ult. Then I can guarantee it. I have no control over him. Hopefully they're okay. You'll notice how now he's completely gone away. Like he's just running away now. Damn. Wanted to do a decent amount of damage to him then. If 
I hit the ultimate, I would have. I want to get him on the back foot so he's not even confident to ult into a fight. Oh. Nope. Get wrecked. That was a really good time, E. Because if I got hit by that and got knocked back, I would have mm, possibly died. The random Alistair. Alright, good farming. Evenish on farm. Yeah, that's pretty good. So we know where he is. And he is actually stopping. Um, Why are you doing that? Okay. I was like, is Kazakhs here? That was going on. So I get to complete on my Iceborne very soon, which is good. Very good. Unfortunately, that doesn't take out the back line yet. It will when I get Iceborne. Um, but I'm very close to it. <laughs> no soup, no soup. So we already got Ardent Sensor. I like how Riot tried to nerf Ardent Sensor, but just couldn't. And the item is still, like, amazingly good. Right, someone probably should come cover this. Actually, it's working out pretty good. There's a wave coming in as I'm going back. That works quite well. To be honest, to go get my Iceborne anyway. And Perfecto. He might go back. No, he's not. Alright. Perfecto. Oriana, if she can just cover the lane so the tower doesn't die, that would be wonderful. Ooh. That's one thing we our team will have to be careful of, is the lack of mobility our team comp has. <laughs> Oh, that funny. Oh, by the way, sometimes when people, like, um, die, and, like, in some episodes, people kind of go, why does it say squirrel or penguin in chat? Uh, that's when Lulu has polymorphed somebody, and they're typing, or they've died. It will come up like that instead, uh, basically. So there's your answer, because a lot of people get confused about that. No one's here. All right, we should actually be d d punishing them in some way. Like, killing them in river, or... You know, we need to do something. Oh, that did not go well for them. Tristana blew away. Oh, that feels bad, man. Get rid of their AD carry. Got exhausted as well. I don't know why he exhausted me. He was on no health. And there we go. Win. Sweet. I'll go do that. Perfecto. What dragon is it? Eh, it's not that important. We can mid tower. Nobody dies and we kill three people. And they did actually get Shen, off, uh, 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 Shen ult off then. Usually you want to try and kill the target before the Shen ult can complete. But we didn't. Uh, so that actually wasn't that good. We need towers, though. More, 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 more towers. We've only got one now in mid. We don't have bot. It is nearly dead, though. And then top lane is halfway. That's what we should probably prioritize now. But they're going to get another dragon by the looks of it. Because there's not a lot we can do about, unfortunately. Kazix didn't die. He was very low in that fight. They are doing this, right? I'm pretty sure Kazix is doing it. Yeah. I thought they were. There's a ward in there. So they might want mid tower is what they're potentially going for big time now. Uh, boots. What do I need? Merc. And now we can actually finish this. Alright. I've got TP. P. Shen doesn't have ultimate, but he will have the normal teleport. Uh, I can definitely match him in split pushing. Hopefully they can get that tower. Okay, Trisana W. Oh, look at the farm difference. He's like a hundred farm ahead. Whoa. That's massive. No basing in the middle of the lane for you. They do have to be careful in the top lane. That's most likely where the enemy team are going to 
put a lot of their resources. Uh, you know, four-man gank or something like that would not be surprising. See, there's a couple things you can do versus a shed. Either you ignore him, you send your bruiser tank against him, and he can't really kill them. Or you kill him now. Like, if you kill a Shen now, it's actually a pretty big deal because you completely take away what the whole champion is about. That split push pressure. But then you are putting resources into trying to kill a relatively tanky person that isn't hard to... It, that isn't easy to kill. So it's not guaranteed. So a lot of the time I say just kind of do what we're doing now. Put me against him. We both kind of just still farm until like mid-late game. That's, that's pretty much what people should do in most cases. Uh, you know, we both have teleport, so if he manages to get an ult off. Alright, see how he's running away from me? He's not running away because he's scared, he's running away to get an ultimate off. Because he knows I can stop it if I have vision of him. See how my teleport's cutting off the enemy team? Doesn't matter though, apparently. This isn't good. Oh, baby, 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 baby. I love you, baby. Man, I'm quite all right. I get rid of your tour now. Get rid of the Lux. Oh, we didn't even have an Oriana for that fight. Oh, man. Damn, I, I was so close on getting her there. But we get mid-tower, top-tower, kill four for one or two people. We didn't even have an Oriana, by the way, in that fight. Not at all. And why didn't she do anything? Like, even a W would have helped there. Like, just to slow her for, a, like, a second or something. They will probably still kill her, right? 100%. Has to. Because she hasn't got even... Uh, doesn't need, you don't need to exhaust that. You don't even need to ult that. She's got nowhere to go. She just used flash. But, all right. Kills a kill, I guess. But this game's going really well. We're just kind of beating them in team fights, And, well, in the fact that we can beat them when we're outnumbering... When we're being outnumbered, we don't have our mid laner. That's a pretty big deal. Like, that's telling you, oh, yeah, you're probably going to win. Imagine if Oriana was there with an Oriana ultimate in the middle of a team fight. It would only be better. Good survival, though, for Kha'Zix. It was a bit greedy for her trying to stay for farm. But yeah, Kha'Zix really shouldn't do anything this game when we're grouping. Uh, I know I say that a lot, but it, it is their main weaknesses. It, it's why those champions are randomly are very effective in low rating, because people don't know to group. Grouping is the easiest way to climb in League of Legends, and these champions, Kha'Zix, Rengar, etc., get countered by it really easily. Hello. Um... Because, yeah, they, they rely on jumping in, killing one person, and then jumping on the next target or out. And if you're grouping, they can't simply do that. And especially that we've got a poppy. I don't actually like uh, that me split pushing. They might be sending Tristana in split pushing and keeping Shen because the Tristana really isn't doing anything at the moment. So, like, alright, Trist, you need to get more farm. And they're keeping a Shen with the team. That's really weird. I can flank. Okay, I'm on my way. Can we do anything? Lovely. Well, there we go. That was easy. Do you want to go do Baron? Yeah. Alright. Baroni! Uh, I've got W that I can deny the Kazix jumping in to try and steal as well. When it's up. So I can either stand... Oh, actually, what, what do I want to do? Are they even coming for it? Oh. Not even coming for it. Let me get that farm. Yeah, this game's going really nice and smooth, actually. See, I like these games. Like, it is not a stomp. It's just a nice game. This game could still be a loss. I doubt it, but it could be. Um, and it's smart play that's winning us the game. Right, I'm on my way to go over there. Let's go! 
So now is the time that I can kind of just start to group a bit more. Uh, force team fights as a pos po as a poppy rather than split pushing. Shane can split push. I don't really care. If we start team fights, kill targets before he can do anything. Guess what? His split push is really bad. Um, and that's why I've said to people, a Shen actually grouping with his team a lot of the time is actually more useful than a split pushing Shen. Oh, luckily she doesn't do a lot of damage. Because that should have been a dead Lulu. I guess it was, yeah, that's actually really big. That must mean she doesn't do any damage because that was our support. Huh. He did use heal to save her. So, yeah. We, we need to do something with this Baron, guys. Like, I'll go top lane now just to stop the Shen, but we should have been doing something then. To be honest. Oh, well. Uh, next I am probably going to just finish... Finish? Uh, finish a Spirit of Visage just to have a bit of, like, beefiness with... Um, hi -ya, uh, with hey, um, ma Magic Resist and all that lovely stuff. And then... Yeah. So I'll probably complete this wave and then probably just start running there. Oh, Shen's actually there. No, never mind. If he's actually, like, physically there, I may as well just keep split pushing. I would only run there if I if, if Shen was against me. This Tristana is not playing very well. Let's go now. I killed him. My bad. Mm. Yeah, I kind of killed the cane there. I thought we would have killed him before the the cane got to him, or I thought I had the angle for a stun. Uh, no, he's actually like saying my bad too. It was his bad for going basically one v five. It was my bad putting him into a death position. He did die because of me. He would have survived otherwise, so... Yeah. Get away. You naughty cow. Alright, get the Kazakhs to go on me instead. I'd rather a Kazakhs jump on me than my carries. But Varus does get killed before even using ultimate, by the way. So that isn't great. Tristana used heal to survive. Kane is fighting. That's fine. Oh, he denied his jump. That was really weird. Kane got his W off as Kazakhs was literally about to leap into the air. So it cancelled the jump. God, that looked really weird. I've got something in my mouth that I can't seem to get rid of. Um, but there we go. What killed me? My mainly physical? Yeah, mainly physical. So we do need more. Physical. Physical. Do we have crit? Yes, she's gone crit. Time to go. Runan. Or Randuin. I haven't gone Randuin. God, I can't even remember the last time I bought a Randuin. Now. <laughs> Basically. Um, Alright, now everybody... Come, we need to go top lane. We've got two open inhibitors on the map, bot lane and top. So you go to the place that the supers aren't there yet and you'll find you'll basically kill the base really quickly because they'll be split of what they should be doing. Do we um, do we stay farming? Uh, oh, he's getting IE. That's fine. Do we stay, you know, do we have to stop the super minions or do we stop them entering our base? And if you don't do one of them, the other one's really bad. If you stop us entering the base, the super minions will take over. You know, there, there's just so much of when, like, inhibitors are up. What's up, buddy? So you'll notice that we are doing now a little bit more than the Shen, which is cool. We just have more pressure than him. And again, again, I'm a massive Shen fan, but because, like, whenever you play a champion... You should probably know how to beat that said champion, to be honest. If you don't, then you're probably playing it wrong. So every one trick should know what beats them. And you'd, well, you don't even need to be a one trick, to be honest. But like um, Kane said, go as Ka uh, go as five because Kai is useless. That's what I've been saying a lot this game. It's his biggest weakness. Whoa! 
Where's the Oriana support? They could have probably got that kill. So Shen's in bot lane. I missed. Damn it. That should probably have landed. I'm just going to wait for these super minions, basically. Or we just pile in now. Dog pile. All right. They are going to drag them over to let the Trisana try hit them. Yeah, good flash. I'm protecting the four. The four is more important because we end that and then we're in their base. Kane keeps going by himself, which isn't great. I got four people on me. Uh, keep protecting him. Good ult! Oh, not enough damage. Kane needs to not go by himself every single opportunity he gets. He's just dying alone all the time. Ugh. But we do get damage on their base towers and we do open up the base. So it is a good thing. But it's just we're giving the enemy team probably a bit too much. Um, but yeah. We get one tower which is good too. I took a cage. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So, um, Oriana in our big team fight that was going on, Oriana's basically basically saying she got um, Lux queued when she probably could have dodged it. And if she dodged it, she would have had a really good Oriana ultimate. And a lot of them, or a lot more of them, probably would have died. And that's Baron. And that's the difference, everybody. That's the difference. Alright, let's go get the dragon because we may as well but again we're not really fighting as five when Kane goes just by himself as like one person it's then he's basically what we're saying to the Kazakhs he's not being very useful uh, very useful if like say we're, we're grouping same situation if Kane's going in as five people he's just as useless as the Kazakhs because uh, he's basically sacrificing himself and making it a 4v4 um, not a 4v5 so yeah, let's just get this mid pushing and then we'll go bot lane. We should go bot lane. Speed me up, Scotty! No. That's Lux combo, but it doesn't really mean much. A lot of people go, hi, you got a roll! Yeah, be back in 20 seconds. That's Lux. We need like a Varus or something to land like a really good um, ult. If we can land a really good ult, that'll be really good. Obviously. The Baron's now really annoying because they've got the big minions. Okay, that's Kazakh's jump. Alright, I'm playing Protect this time. Not looking to engage at all. Where's my Varus? Okay. You are my buddy. Ugh, I was... We're getting poked by a goddamn Kazakh's W. Tristana in the back line is wrecking. Now nah, we're losing. We're losing. <sighs> this is what I mean. These last couple team fights where Kane has just kind of suicided are really bad. God damn it. No. How hasn't he worked that out? How has any work do we have that out that we need to protect? <laughs> the engages is what's been wrong this game. He keep that he's lost us the game by engaging the way he has. Like Varus is saying what I am. Like he's been losing us the game. You can't randomly just like. Ugh. I'm trying to just delay, but this game's lost. Um, probably. Yeah, his constant engaging is just what's keeping losing us the game. If he has one team fight that he just focuses on protecting, it's a lot better. If they can get one kill, okay, good.
They might try to delay. Lovely. I'm up in 20. They should just keep going. No, you should keep going. Uh, whatever. Uh, okay. Ooh. They could get that kill. No, they don't want to. Okay, Luxol. It's like Star Wars. Holy moly. Where's the Lux? Okay. Reset, I guess. The game isn't over. But uh, like I said, if Kane does that again, the constant engaging by himself, dying basically instantly, the game's lost. Done. Over. So what I want to see in the next team fight is him not going in. Use his W, his knock-up W to protect when like a Shen and an Alistair goes on Arvaris. Spy the Randuin though makes us a little bit more beefy to the Tristana. Who is probably at this stage of the game doing a lot of damage. Like the Tristana's turned her game around. Obviously still really behind in farm but got equal kills to him. And in this stage, you know, when you're getting a lot of your big items. Like she's full build nearly when she completes this. Oh no, that is complete. Wow, she is full build. No, wait, that's not full build, is it? Yeah, it's not called Last Whisperer anymore, I think. It's like Lord Dominic's and something else. You want me? Okay. I can focus on doing that. I could have gone in then. But I didn't have the confidence, so I didn't. Oh, I should have had the confidence to go on the Kha'Zix. I can stop his jump. She's like nearly oom. Do we want to wait for her blue? or is she? Oh, she's okay now. She's got like nearly full mana. Careful. Okay. Yeah, let's get the blue for Oriana. Apparently we're going... Did like no damage. I'm gonna get War Mogs next, I think, because War Mogs is great for tanks. You get taken down to pretty low health, and then you just get like War Mogs. Ten seconds later, you're like back in the fight. All right, I'm standing next to him. Channel. Oh, Kane got. Oh, Varus got exploded. Yes! Good Oriana roll. I'm trying to survive as long as I can. Hooah! Oh my god. The Varus keeps getting exploded every single team fight. I don't like this. Lux is going to have ult very soon. damage. Okay, let's leave. Screw this. Okay. I can stop the Kha'Zix. We just need to keep running, though. Really nice. Well played, my dear. Let's just put that on there, just so we have vision of it. We can probably go take it, you know, after we clean some of this stuff. All right, let's but let's work into that war mog. I think it's just really bad. Like right there, if I had war mog and Kazakh was chasing us, I would have got to full health by then with war mogs. Oh, okay. Alistair's randomly at the dragon. This is what I mean. This is a good game. We by, we, by the way, we should have probably won this game by now, but, you know, it's not, not a bad thing. Damn, I knew they were doing it. I was going to try and stop them. Alright, we should just group and try to end. That's what we should attempt to do now. 
But it's going to be a bit harder now that they've got that. Oh, that was a bad miss. Naughty cow. Got him! The carries are still alive. Good Oriana roll! Good Oriana roll! I can't. Oh, come on, kick him, kick him, right? Where's the auto attack? No. Where's Varus gone? Hello? He just AFK'd or something. I don't know what he, where he went. Where did he go? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea where Varus left. So weird. They're going to lose this if they fight. And then we lose an impetus before that we get one. Holy moly. Now, we could have fought that. It was perfectly fine. We just fought it terribly. Varus left. Well, Varus won, missed his ultimate. Then he left. <laughs> it's like, what? Where did he go? All right, wave clear as much as you can. But it doesn't really matter because Tristana. Uh, Tristana might have outscaled the Varus by now. Can we start? Are they going to come in? No. Oh, it's so annoying. Just really stupid mistakes are making us, like, nearly lose this game. It's intense, but... It's silly, silly, silly mistakes. If we can catch them while they're, like, trying to leave. Some things are too important to give up on. Keep her going, keep her going, keep her going. Oh, and you're dead. He wasn't looking. He must have not been looking. Because he got hit by the Lux Q. Yeah. Unfortunately, the Canes made this guy... This, this game a lot harder than it should have been. And I think we might actually lose now if we're not careful. But uh, that's the way that it goes. You sometimes you have bad games. All right, they're not ending, thank God. <laughs> Literally what I'm saying. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I've said that to him for like over 10 minutes now and he's just not listened. And again, I completely understand when people go, I don't need to listen. That's completely fine. I understand when people go, I don't need to listen to people in the same rating as me. I'm completely with you there. But when you're having a bad game, you know, that's kind of it. Judge it off how your performance is going, not like rating and stuff. We need to make sure the Varus doesn't die. Every team fight, the Varus is getting jumped on and dying. And died. Well, I don't even know if he's getting jumped on. It might be just the Tristana range killing him. I really, really, really could do with my um, thingy, though. Warmog for the next team fight. Because if I can escape on low health, I can come back in to the team fight. Not actually that long later with full health. And that could be a big difference. That could be a very big difference. Okay, I've got Warmog. He is now starting to lag. Of course he is. That's always the way that it goes. Your most important team fight that's about to happen. Someone starts lagging. It's like, well, okay. Okay, are they going to split now, I wonder? He's not doing it again. He's like way too far up. Yeah, Shen's up there. Gotta put my faith in my team. I hate doing that, but kind of have to. Can't believe we're potentially losing this game, though. <laughs> it's always the way. Good damage. There we go.
Kill these two. No. Oh, I got the tryst! I don't know if we can end or anything. We should be trying to end right now, but there's too much going on. Okay, I got the Trist, which was good. Yeah, see, Kha'Zix is going to try and stop us by, like, trying to knock up that type of thing out. Good kill. Very good kill. Big wave clear she is. Please let us end. Okay, I've got teleport. Yeah, we've got the teleport there. I don't need to go yet. Yeah, I don't need to. I don't need to. We can just end. Kill this! Jesus! No auto attacks. It's like you don't want to finish the game. Get away. Oh my god, we won! Just end the game. Oh, good, Oriana Ultimate. Yes! Oh my god. What a game. Like, oh, I, th I legit thought we were going to lose that game. Oh, that was good. Not a stomp. Really close game. Either team could have won. Like, hell, both teams at the end of the game had Nexus Towers. Like, one Nexus Tower down. But yeah, that cane did not... <laughs> oh, God. Don't overcomplicate things. Really don't overcomplicate how you win games. It's crazy. Anyway, I'm 4 7 18, Got 17 uh, LP. Got an A overall. Uh, 283 farm. Damage done. I went pure tank poppy. Did more than or very similar. Like me and Shen had a very similar game. Nearly equal damage. Did both tanking a, a bit, uh, you know, stuff. Whoa, I'm probably red in the face right now with that game. But there we go. That was an intense, intense, intense game. That, you know, yeah. It, I would say Kane, thank God he changed his play style in the late game. Because if he didn't, over. But the enemy team also made a few mistakes. That Lux trying to kill the Oriana right at the end there. Being greedy, getting caught out after using Flash. Greedy. Uh, but yeah, there we go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, throw a massive like on this video. Because it was a really good game. I don't know. Let's try to get a thousand likes. Usually I don't do that. But let's try and get a, like a lot of likes on this one. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you guys next time.